I couldn't help but notice the other day the rapper Duke Deuce was getting shot at by Vice Lords in Memphis. Now, I guarantee y'all that those was TVLs that were shooting at that nigga. But he's fucking stupid because if you a GD and you go to Memphis, everybody know Vice Lords are deep as fucking Memphis and Chicago <laughs> and here in Detroit. So it's just like certain places don't go if you know you, you claim in the opposite shit. And more importantly, y'all, once you get rich and famous, you dumb as fuck if you go back to the neighborhood you grew up in. Because niggas will guilt trip you right there. But, oh, man, he didn't forgot where he came from. That nigga got rich and he ain't put none of his homies on. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say when I get rich. It's fuck you niggas now and it's going to be fuck you niggas when I get rich. So it would be nothing a nigga in Detroit would be able to do to get me to come back here once I get rich and I get far away from this motherfucker. It's sad that so many celebrities do that. That's how uh, Takeoff got killed from the Migos. Why you in your old neighborhood rolling dice with these broke ass niggas? That shit don't make no sense, dog. And it's like, how many examples do y'all need? Like, bro, once you make it to a certain level, don't stoop to another motherfucker that's at a lower level. That's so fucking basic, man. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. Don't let a nigga guilt trip you. Don't let a nigga, you know, fucking get you to come back to die. Now, visiting your relatives, yeah, that's cool, whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't even do that, though. Because there's so many hating motherfuckers in my family. What the fuck I'm coming back for Christmas for? I'll send you motherfuckers a gift if I want to. If not, oh well. You know why. I don't get no gifts every Christmas. I don't get shit. Every birthday, I don't get shit. The only motherfucker who give me something for my birthday is two people. I ain't even gonna say their names at this point because, you know, it ain't about them. It's about me in these videos. So I don't get it with these rappers, man. I really don't get it. It's like I don't like seeing my people get killed and die out here in these streets over dumb shit when it's like just stay out of the streets. You making a choice. If I if I have a son, y'all, and he like in the streets hustling, robbing niggas, gambling, it's gonna be like, bruh, you got to get the fuck out, nigga. And I'll make it real simple for him. Like, you chose the streets over your family, then go live in them streets. Go stay in them streets and see if them streets show you love. And don't bring your ass back here because there's other relatives here I don't want you putting in danger. I still love you, but you can't stay in this motherfucker, bro. The shit you doing is just, I don't condone. I'll make that very motherfucking clear. Crystal clear. So, yeah. You know, if I don't live that kind of life and it don't align with me, hell no, nah, you can't stay here. I don't give a fuck what his mama say. I'm like, you can get the fuck out with him too. At the end of the day, because nah. <laughs> nah. Especially if I got other kids, you know? It, even if he was the only son, it would be like, you still chose them streets. You can't stay here. You can't have it both ways. A lot of people think they can have it both ways, and that's bullshit. I'm going to jump over here in the streets, right? And then when the streets do me dirty, I'm going to jump back on my family. No, the fuck you not, nigga. No, you not, nigga. Because I don't even know what the fuck you just did in them streets. You could have a price tag on your head. You could have a target on your head. Don't bring that bullshit over here. And it's always the man, the father, that says that shit. The mama be doing, you can come back home, baby. No, the fuck he can't. You hear me in the background. No, the fuck you can't, nigga. Don't bring your ass over here. Go watch the movie Three Strikes. His family was doing the same shit, or his mama was doing the same shit. His dad like, tell that nigga don't come back. He's seeing him on the news running from the police and all that shit. Hell no, nah, tell him don't come, to, don't come to this motherfucker. Don't come to this bitch. Men give their sons tough love. Women be the ones babying their ass and wondering why they ain't never fully mature. It's because of you. You don't get that nigga no responsibility, no accountability. That, and women, I always say accountability is kryptonite for black women. Don't do that shit. It's important to have uh, male father figures. Your father, your uncle, your granddads, your great uncles. As many as you can possibly get. Because women be trying to run shit in family. And they, they can only run shit if you let them. And that's usually the niggas who ain't got no fucking backbone. And who ain't got no balls that let them. 